Hello and welcome. I'm going to show you how to get rid of this error for a 64-bit Google Play requirement on the Google Play console when you upload an APK or an Android app bundle from Unity. As you watch this tutorial, please consider subscribing to Key Smash Studios or at the very least liking the video. It really does help us a lot. The 64-bit Google Play requirement comes from an uh, update in August of 2019 that requires you to upload both 64-bit and 32-bit code for phones because more and more phones are moving to the 64-bit requirements which is great it's faster it's better for all of us that have phones that run 64-bit but there's a couple of issues that this creates for but there's a couple of issues that this creates for developers after you upload your internal rollout you'll come across these warnings and, and errors and it won't let you start the rollout even if you have all of your stuff complete, if you have an error. And this error is that it's not compliant with the 64-bit requirement. And there's a couple things that we need to do within Unity to make sure that this happens. So this is a game that we're not using at Key Smash, and I'm going to upload the APK with the correct settings to the Android Studio so we can learn the process of doing it with 64 and 32-bit. So the first thing you need to do when you have your scenes open, you need to go to your build settings, that's control shift B, or you can go file build settings. Once you've done that, you hit player settings. So once you get here, we need to make sure that you have the Android NDK bundle. So these are the links that I'm going to put in the description below. This is the history of the NDK ar archives. This is the native development kit. You need to download 16B because that is what Unity uses. Uh, and I should forewarn you, Unity only goes back certain versions. I'm on Unity version 2018.3 um, because that's what we use for some of our internal projects. It goes back to 2018.1. Any older than that, you cannot build to 64-bit and you need to update your Unity and update your project so it can be uploaded to the Google Play Console. That's just as far back as Unity has, has set it up. Uh, any of the 2019 ones, any of the long-term stable builds, and any of the 2018s beyond 2018.1 will have this. So go to your NDK, download this 2016B. It's a long installation. Again, I will put the link in the description below. Install that, and then come back here. So we need to... Obviously, if we're increasing an in upload, so we're changing our upload, we need to increase our version. So uh, you need to 1.12 and code version 12, because this is the 12th upload of this project onto the Google Play Console. So that's that's what it needs to be. The, the next thing you're going to do, and, and this is because of the .NET 4 equivalent backend scripting that Unity uses, we need to change the scripting to the I l2 cpp and the il2 cpp is what they have done to enable the arm 64 bit building you also need to disable the x86 that is the 32 bit i should mention if you're exporting the android app bundle and you should it's smaller you don't need to do anything else if you are ex exporting in an apk format you need to split the apks by target architecture but it is much better for you to just build the Android app bundle. It's much better for Google Play Console, and it's much smaller and better, and you're more likely to get downloads if your file's smaller. So once you've done that, you have updated your version, your bundle code version, you have ARM64, you have your key store set ready to be uploaded. Make sure that you have your alias and your key store password done. You can hit build. It'll ask you for a location to save it. So this is our 12th build of the uh, Pair Rumble project. And then we'll go to, so like I said, it uses the NDK. Once this builds, we'll go to the Google Play Console and we'll upload a new version of it. So we're going to remove our old version code 11, the one that has this error. And we are going to put our new one in once it finishes building. I should note that the native binary does take longer to compile with the IL2CPP. Uh, but it's a necessary evil. What it's doing is it exports the scripts for 32-bit and for 64-bit. 
Uh, and that way, if your phone runs on 32-bit, Google Play can just give you the 32-bit version of the app. If your phone runs on 64-bit, it can just give you the 64-bit version of the app. All right, now that it's uploaded, uh, we can save it and go to the review page. And we'll find that our error on the 64-bit is gone. Uh, these warnings sometimes matter, sometimes they don't. Uh, that depends on the project. This, these warnings on this one are largely due to assets that aren't compatible. So that should get rid of the 64-bit error, uh, specifically when uploading a Unity APK or Android app bundle. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments below. I'm more than happy to help. As always, like, comment, subscribe, all that jazz. It really does help.